Hello, dear friends. I am Violeta from Crafting with View of You. To make a pillow cover, we are going to join these two snowflakes together. Put these two snowflakes wrong side to wrong side, like this. Find the corner stitch, which is right here above this uh, double crochet stitch. You can use stitch markers to mark your corners. So this is the corner stitch, and on this one, the corner stitch is here, right here. So I'm going to insert the hook into both of these stitches and pull up a loop like this. Then insert the hook into the next stitch and into the next stitch on the other snowflake as well, yarn over and make a slip stitch. And like this, we're going to connect these two snowflakes. Please do not make this a stitch too tight, but do not make it too loose, neither. And we continue all the way until the next corner. Here, please make sure that the corner stitches meet, that you didn't make any mistake. Check OK and continue joining these sides together. So, I have joined four sides of this uh, pillow cover. And I'm going to make a couple of chain stitches so it doesn't unravel while I will be inserting the pillow insert into this um, pillow cover. So I have prepared a hexagon shaped pillow. If you want to know how to do that, please leave a comment uh, below this video and I will make a separate tutorial on how to make pillow inserts. And let me just put it inside this pillow, making sure that the corners of the pillow insert go right into the corners of the pillow cover. So, how does this look? Perfect. Okay, all the corners are in. And we're going to continue joining the sides of this pillow cover. Oops, sorry, this side. So, get back to the stitch right here. And continue joining the two sides of this pillow cover through the stitches in, in one and the next one. Just like this. Why I like this uh, particular method of joining um, sides for the pillow is because it creates this beautiful sharp um, rich and the hexagon keeps its shape you see you can also add some tassels in the end to each side of the to, to each corner of the pillow so let's continue joining
here, make sure that the corner stitches uh, meet each other. Okay, make sure that nothing shifted. The pretty corner is done. And finish the last side of this pillow cover. And we are almost done. Several stitches, several more stitches to finish this, joining these seams. And so the last stitch is done into the corner right here, the last slip stitch. Then cut the yarn, pull it out of the stitch, insert the hook right under the first slip stitch that you made right here and pull this yarn tail onto the back like this. Then insert the hook from the back right into the last slip stitch that you made and pull this yarn onto the back like this. So on this side, what you see is the continuous row of these beautiful stitches. And here you have these two yarn tails that meet, you see, right here. Now we can make a knot and then we will insert the hook inside of the pillow cover and pull this yarn tail inside like this. Now cut here. So the yarn tail will be sitting inside of the uh, pillow cover. And do the same with the other side, with the other um, a yarn tail inside pull it in inside like this okay so now your pillow is finished oops so if you like this video please give me a like please subscribe to my channel and please share your pictures in our facebook group Happy crocheting!